everybody and welcome to my video today. This is a very special and unique video that I am making for all of you. I'm going to talk a little bit about my Mennonite background and values and I'm going to show you guys my hometown. Just a little glimpse of how I was born and raised and where I was born and raised. Today our son asked us, him and his wife asked us to come down for lunch. We're going to spend a couple hours there and since he lives closer to where I was born and raised and grew up, I'm going to go on a little trip. It's about an hour away and I'm going to show you my favorite store when I was a little girl and why I liked it so much. I'm going to show you the store that my niece and I, we would ride bike. Now my sister was married the year I was born. I was adopted way late into life of my parents. So I have a niece that's two years younger than me and she lived a few miles from our home as well. We would get together every week and we would ride our bikes to this favorite store of mine and I can't wait to share with you. It is a very plain store. Many times in my videos, especially in the past, I talked about my Mennonite background and my Mennonite faith. People would look at me and say, well, why do you wear makeup? Why do you wear pants? Uh, why do you have a bandana? Why do you do all of this and that? I think if you would sit down and look at your background and where you came from and your ancestry and your heritage, I think that everyone would agree that we all carry a certain amount of our background, our inheritance, you know, our belief system from our parents. Of course, we don't have all of it, but we are all a melting pot of different ideas and different backgrounds. Mennonite background is in my blood. It's in my husband's blood. That is how we were born and we were raised. A lot of people don't understand what that means. So Mennonites are a lot like Amish, but not as strict. But yet I don't hold all of their values. I take their values, some of them, and I just embrace them. While we don't agree with everybody on everything in life, I mean, even if you read a book or you watch TV shows or you watch all kinds of history shows, you may not agree with everything that the commentator says. For me, I'll share with you what I do hold values. On my channel, I don't talk a whole lot about my values. On my channel, I don't talk a whole lot about the political side of my life. Those are things that I keep off my channel. But the Mennonite traditional values are traditional. I'm a very traditional person when it comes to my faith. So I believe in certain values. I believe the rule that the man has in the family, and I believe that the rule the woman has in the family. And those are based on Christian values of the Bible. The Mennonites are pacifists. Now you have different branches of Mennonites, just like you have different branches of Catholic. You have different branches of, of the Jewish faith. All faiths have different branches. In other words, all faith have more of a strict way of living, and then they have more of a liberal way of living. Being a Mennonite and traditional values, I'm conservative. That is my core being, and that is who I am. I have conservative faith and conservative beliefs. But I do wear the makeup, and I don't wear dresses all the time, because simply I don't feel that that is something I need to do. A lot of the Mennonites feel like you need to wear dresses all the time, based on biblical standards. And that is great and that is good. Their conviction is that way. I'm not convicted in that way. My mom and my dad and all of my relatives were born very plain Mennonite. In fact, 99% of all of my relatives still are plain. That means they wear the coverings and they wear the dresses and the women tend to stay at home. And that is their way of when my parents left the Plain Church, they became what you would call charismatic. And that is a different movement. In other words, they got away from the plainness of life and they moved on to another type of belief system based on the Bible. But my mother and my father always kept some certain plainness of them. In other words, my mother always kept the beliefs of you know, women to stay at home if they possibly could, and women to be keepers of the home, and men were to be head of the home, and the wives were to be submissive to the husbands, and all of these things. These are fundamental th truths that the Mennonites believe and that my parents held on to that belief. Same with my husband's parents. They came from the same background, turned and changed into more charismatic background, but they still held all the same type fundamental foundational beliefs. And that's where I'm at. 
I was born and raised this way and I believe the same as my parents. And that is just how a lot of people are born and raised. A lot of people have the belief system of their families from years gone by. Now my siblings are not plain as me. They don't have, I would say they don't have any of the Mennonite traditions in them at all. But I was the youngest one and like I always tell you, I was like a sponge and I just soaked everything up. I want to share with you my journey today of my hometown. I come from a very small community called Clay, C-L-A-Y. And you can understand with a name like that and a small community like that, you can see why my values and my traditions hold true even to today because it is a very plain community. Enjoy this video clip and then I'll show you what I got. All right, everyone, it was such a fun day. In fact, it was one of the most special days that I've had in years. It just was a really fun day. I did drive by to see my parents' home. It's been a little over a year since they both have been gone and somebody else lives there, so I did not show the home, but it was so nice to drive by. The home on the outside looks just about the same. It wasn't as hard seeing it now, a year, a little over a year later, I still had a little bit of tinge of sadness and but it was good for me to go back to my hometown I feel at home there I'm sure you all can understand that no matter how long ago you left your roots when you go back you always have that warm spot in your heart and it I feel like I'm among my people there a lot of people say on my videos that they found their tribe and I never heard of that saying before that just wasn't a saying that came from my community but tribe you know people that think a lot the same and that's how I feel when I go there even though I am a little different I'm not as plain as a lot of them I just feel that foundation and I feel like I feel that friendship and that family when I go in my hometown well Hubby gave me $20, which is something that's very special for me because I normally don't have that kind of money when I buy stuff. But this is basically a once a year trip. We hardly ever go. It's been over a year. 
let me show you what I got. I think you guys are going to all really appreciate what I picked out because I picked out for videos and things that I think you guys will all enjoy. Now, the Clay Bookstore, when I was a little girl, was very, very frugal. They have really upped their prices because they're known now to the tourists that come in my area. And they also redid their building. Their building used to be really small and they just redid it last year. The original owners of that were in their 70s when I was a little girl and now their family has taken over it. For $5 I got this. This is the original book and I looked on eBay and it's worth more than $50. So I will not ever sell this because it has a whole bunch of handwritten recipes in it. So I'm really excited about that. This book I've been looking for for many, many years. They don't have any online. I paid $5 for it but it is the Hutterite cookbook. This is something I have been really wanting to buy. So I thought $5, it's worth it to me because I just can't find it anywhere. And if I do, it's really, really outrageous. So I'm really excited about this as well because these are all recipes that I can easily make and it's food that you would have just in your kitchen. It's all real old fashioned cooking. And then I got a calendar for free. They always have the really so quaint. You would see these in a lot of the Mennonite homes and Amish homes. They have calendars and it's always nature or farm scenes and it's always going to be extremely simple. Everything in their kitchens are simple. The old order Mennonites. There's difference. <laughs> so there are some women that have channels out that are Mennonite but they're not old order Mennonites. I'm talking plain Mennonites. I know. I always say that because there's such a big, big wide world of Mennonites. It's not, they're not all the same. Trust me. They're not all the same. And I got this for 50 cents and it is old. It's from the fifties. Then I got a publication. I used to get this and I stopped getting it and I really want to get it again. It is Family Life. This is an Amish publication from Canada. And you can buy the, the publication today. You can still buy it. I think you can even look online for, I think, I think there's a way you can order it online. I'm not sure, but this is old order Amish, Amish. <laughs> and these are really neat. It's family life. It comes, they have a publication for children. And then of course they have family life for the parents. And it's just, it's a wonderful thing to have. I, I've loved these for years. When I was a young married woman, I would go every single week down there to Clay Bookstore because I'd go visit my parents every week and then I would buy these. So I'm really excited. For 50 cents, got the hamburger cookbook. Yeah, because I'm doing a lot of videos on hamburger meat and ways that you can cook really frugal. And then of course I got this for $1. But these are recipes in here that I haven't made yet and I'm excited because that's what all I'm, I'm all about. I love doing all kinds of dried goods in a jar and that's exciting for me. I got this for one dollar. It's self-explanatory. I don't think I need to say anything more about it. And then 50 cents I got this. The cover was off of it but it's a really old cookbook. It's a children's cookbook. And I'm going to add this to the other one that was given to me by one of you lovely ladies. And then for one dollar, I got the budget cookbook. Self-explanatory there. I think you understand this will be on a lot of my cheap meal Mondays. And then this store is known for stickers. And when I was a little girl, we'd go down and get stickers and trinkets and bookmarks and pens and paper. Cause I've always been like that. I always love stickers and I love things like that. For 95 cents, I got this. I thought this is really unique because I love the way it looks. My mom used to use this, like just like this for her grocery list. So I got that somewhat in memory of my mama, but I thought it would be fun. Well, everyone, take care, everyone, and I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.